When I was little, I grew up in Minneapolis and we had a cabin out in Lake Pulaski and we would drive to the cabin, but when we got there, it was really my first experience with open space and even the ride out there. And when I would look out the window or when we got to the cabin and I would look out over the lake, I thought that the earth ended at that horizon line, that, um, that if I were able to go to the end of that horizon, I would look down and it would be just one big abyss. I thought volleyball, the sport was called volleyball, and I was incredibly disappointed when I figured out it was not called volleyball, because clearly volleyball is a much better word than volleyball. So. When I was a kid many years ago, cars hardly ever got over 100,000 miles. And I had always heard on the radio that people would lose control and have an accident. And I was always worried that if our car went over 100,000 miles, the tachometer would start spinning and the car would veer off the road and we would have an accident. So I always looked at that tachometer to make sure that we wouldn't go over 100,000 miles. I used to think that Nogus was not ice and I'd go to the zoo and I was wondering why so many things were labeled as not being ice. Um, I used to think that when you flush the toilet in an airplane bathroom, it would just like release itself and like possibly land on someone on the ground. So I always tried not to use airplane bathrooms because I felt really guilty about it. And also when an airplane would fly over me, I would be a little bit worried. I used to think that chaos and chows were two different words that meant the same thing. It was in seventh grade that I discovered the truth. I also read in a book this one time that in the old days, people used to like bury their dead relatives under their houses. And so since I knew that my house was kind of old, I became convinced that there were like dead people buried in the basement and I was really, really scared. <laughs> or like I was afraid that if the wall fell down, like a dead person was gonna pop out. As a kid, I thought um, that fruit snacks were called choking hazards because that's what my parents called them. You know, they would give me fruit snacks and they called them choking hazards. And it didn't even occur to me that choking hazard was, you know, like choking hazard. I just thought that was the name for fruit snacks. I had no idea how old people were, like how relatives' ages worked. So someone asked me how old I thought my grandma was, and I said that she was probably 18, because that was like the biggest number I could think of, like as a conceivable age. Okay, when I was pretty young, um, for a while, I um, thought that all cats were girls and all dogs were boys, and, and cats were the girl version and, and dogs were the boy version of what was essentially the same species. When you're a child, that's your whole world. It's so small. You know, it involves your family and everything just around you. As you go to school, it develops a little bit more, and then to high school and your friends. And it's kind of how the world keeps expanding for you. But it starts out so little, and uh, you know, it's good that it grows. And the people we meet and the things we do, and you, you know, you go from towns to states to countries, and it just keeps on expanding. And it's amazing to me how it does that. Mm -hmm.